is up guys it's logic looks and today boys we got a galaxy opal snipe challenge finally in 2k22 i'm very very excited to get into today's video i'm going to show you guys what we ended up sniping we sniped for about 10 hours we spent 10 hours on the galaxy opal filter and we ended up getting a few good snipes as well as missing something that kind of hurt my heart so we're going to get into the video without further ado i'm excited man let's go so boys real quick this is not really a traditional snipe challenge i'm not going to be sitting here and actually sniping i've already done the sniping we're just going to go over what i got in that 10 hour span i decided to spend 10 hours on the filter obviously i've been a little bit sick and if you guys can hear it in my voice i apologize bear with me throughout this video i wanted to drop this video so you know i'm gonna have to make it like this so hopefully it sounds perfectly fine hopefully i sound perfectly fine but like i said man it was a 10 hour snipe challenge i sat on the filter for about 10 hours over a span of a few days just trying to see what i could get on the filter some of this stuff is you know decent some of the stuff is actually kind of heartbreaking because we did end up missing a snipe that was worth over 400,000 mt which yes you guys are going to see later in this video and you guys are going to see just only pain in this video so stay tuned man we got a few snipes as well we ended up getting three galaxy opal snipes in total which in my opinion I mean that's not bad at all to be honest 10 hours on the filter obviously you know if it was a little bit hotter we could have got even more snipes but you know 10 hours not too bad three snipes one miss let's get into them i want to show you guys what i ended up getting how i ended up getting it and how much everything sold for and of course at the end of the video we're going to talk about how much profit i made and if it is worth it to sit on this filter boys we're gonna get into it the very first snipe of this galaxy opal snipe challenge i know it's a little bit of a weird challenge because we're not really sniping right now i will probably do another one of these probably this weekend when i'm a bit healthier so stay tuned for all that but getting into the very first snipe of today's video now this one right here was actually a really really good one i think it made me the most profit out of any of the cards if i'm not mistaken i might be wrong on that stay tuned and find out when we go over the other snipes as well but the very first snipe, I'm going to pop up the clip on the screen. You guys are going to see it. When you see this clip, you're going to be cringing a little bit because I did end up going super, super, super slow. I probably shouldn't have got this snipe. This was one snipe that I had one controller on the hand, bro. I had one controller on my phone, one controller on the hand, one hand on the controller. And somehow, somehow I ended up still getting the snipe. So I'm going to roll the clip. You guys are going to see it, man. Yes, it was none other than Christopher Bosch for 100,000 MT. And at the time, he was actually still pretty expensive, I believe. This was before the new season dropped, if I'm not mistaken. And I did end up selling him. I'm going to pop up the screenshot on the screen. You guys are going to be able to see this on the screen. 245k for this Chris Bosch. I don't know if he had a diamond shoe on him. I think he might have. So, you know, keep that in mind when, you know, it comes to the price. But a nice little profit of like 140,000 MT. Cannot go wrong with that at all. Chris Bosch for our first snipe. I was actually pretty ha happy about that. I was not expecting to even get the card. When I saw him and I had one hand on the controller, I thought it was already done. But... We ended up getting him, ended up selling him for a huge profit, and I will definitely, definitely take that any time of the day. Now, boys, this second snipe of the video and of the challenge, I actually ended up getting myself something pretty similar, something that we've already gotten. And I'm not going to lie, I kind of feel like I did bad with this because I ended up selling it at possibly the worst potential time ever like there was no worse time to sell this card than when i did so it's kind of my fault that it sold for such little because i actually ended up selling it on friday night technically friday night it was at like 4 a.m when it probably ended because i put it up at around like midnight probably ended at around four and honestly not a good idea do not do that with your cards i was just trying to get rid of it quickly so i can have some more mt for the next day the following day for content but regardless of all that man the card that i ended up getting i'm gonna roll the clip on the screen once again you guys are gonna see it and yes i did end up going faster on this one i know the first one was a little bit of a fluke this one right here ended up getting it with ease ended up getting myself a second christopher bosch for 100,000 mt now this one is actually pretty crazy because the amount of difference that these two cards sold for is kind of insane but that's what happens when you put up cards at a bad time i actually only ended up getting around 140,000 for this card which is kind of ridiculous because this card definitely goes for a lot lot more so i was obviously kind of mad about that but i mean it is what it is we still got the snipe you know in my heart i still got it it is what it is man i'm not really complaining too much about it i can't be too mad about it chris bosh once again maybe i should have kept this card i don't know man if i snipe him again i might just go ahead and keep him just because it's chris bosh you know toronto raptors player but definitely a good little snipe but once again chris bosh 400k made a quick little 40k profit which is you know not as much as 140k but still we move we take it and we let's move into the next snipe so boys the next snipe that we actually ended up seeing on the filter was actually a snipe that we ended up seeing live while recording the snipe filter video on friday and i kind of cut it right before i could show you guys if i missed it or i ended up getting it and you guys have no clue what ended up happening 
to this day. I know some of you guys didn't even peep that. Some of you guys caught that and, you know, messaged me or commented on the video and said, yo, Logic, what happened with this, you know, card at blah, blah, blah time frame. But listen, man, all I'm going to say is this right here is where the only pain kicks in. If, if that means anything to you, I mean, you guys know we did end up missing this right here. I have no idea how I ended up missing this. I might have been, you know, a little bit too slow, but I saw the card super early. I wasn't even delayed, so I have no idea how I ended up missing this. I'm going to throw up the clip on the screen for you guys. You guys are going to see it. I'm not even going to say nothing. Matter of fact, I'm going to just let it roll. Here you go, man. Let me know what you think. Let's just get it. Well, yeah, boys, we did end up missing ourselves a 75th anniversary LeBron James for 78,000 MT, which is just ridiculous. I wish I got that card. I'm not going to lie. I thought I was decently fast. Obviously, you know, not fast enough because I didn't end up getting it, but I thought I was fast enough. It is what it is, man. That is only pain right there. I'm not going to lie to you at all. That right there, man, is only pain because if we ended up getting that, we could have made easily over 400,000 MT just off that card right there. So definitely a whole lot of pain, but it is what it is. You know what, man? You're not going to end up getting every single, you know, snipe when you actually get on a filter. So I can't really be that mad, although I am kind of mad because, I mean, LeBron would have been a huge help for our MT count. I mean, this card is going for a ridiculous amount. That one has added badges, so that's not an accurate price, but... You guys can see, man, this card is pretty rare. It is not popping up that much on the auction house at all. And to be honest, if we got it for 78K, I would have been going crazy in that filter video. But I cut it at the perfect time. I let you guys, you know, find out today that no, we did not end up getting LeBron. So only pain in the comment section down below, man. And let's move in to the last snipe of today's snipe challenge. Boys, the very last snipe of today's snipe challenge is actually another great one. Another one that's actually different. Finally, something different from Chris Bosh snipes because honestly, as much as I love Chris Bosh, we got to stop sniping him because I mean, I want some variety in my snipes and I did end up getting this. I was actually on the filter for like 20 minutes. Now, like I said, I spent 10 hours in total on the filter, but that doesn't mean I was on the filter for 10 hours straight. I kind of, you know, spread it out because if you're on the filter for 10 hours straight, I mean, honestly, you should be able to get something. But at the end of the day, you know, it might be a little bit more difficult to do it that way as opposed to, you know, splitting it up between like every couple hours on the filter. So I ended up getting on the filter 20 minutes later, I ended up getting this snipe right here. You guys are going to see it on the screen. It was none other than the brand new, or I mean, you could say brand new, Luka Doncic for 100,000 MT. So not bad at all, man. A card that I was actually looking forward to actually trying out. So I did end up trying him out for a little bit, which is the great thing about sniping. If you snipe something that you want to use, you could use it for a little bit, then sell it for a profit. And at the end of the day, you're still going to be in the profit because you only got it for 100K. So Luka for 100K, ended up using him for like three, four games, you know, played a little bit of clutch time with him. Ended up selling him. I think he sold for around 160,000 MT. You guys are going to see the screenshot, which might have been a little bit low once again. But, you know, I was selling on, I believe it was Friday. So, I mean, it's kind of the worst day to sell. I probably should have waited out. But I just wanted to get this video out to you guys. And honestly, man, I could have probably waited because I didn't end up dropping it right away either because I was sick. So, it is what it is, man. Listen, Luca, not bad at all. Two Chris Boshes and a Luca in 10 hours. I mean, we can't go wrong with that. And then, of course that lebron james that we could have ended up getting which would have been absolutely insane i'm not gonna lie if we got lebron i would have been going crazy the entire day but uh yeah boys that's pretty much gonna do it for today's video the profit we ended up making was around like 300,000 mt so not too bad i mean 300k in 10 hours is not bad at all that's like 30k an hour which honestly man it could be a lot more obviously it would have been a lot more if we ended up getting lebron and capitalizing on our chances but if you guys are wondering if it's worth it to sit the galaxy oval filter i would say yes give it a try especially if you have 100,000 mt or even more than that and you want to just try it out honestly man the worst thing that can happen is you don't get anything and you spend an hour just watching some netflix in the background or youtube do what you got to do though man definitely think it's worth using the galaxy opal filter i should have another galaxy opal snap challenge out for you guys this weekend more of a live one this one was kind of you know i did the sniping then i recorded the video the next one is going to be like more like you know i'm recording the video while doing the sniping i was just sick so i was unable to do that but definitely excited for all that definitely excited for more videos in the near future man stay tuned you know i should be good to go in a few days obviously i'm still a little bit sick you guys can probably hear it in my voice so i apologize hopefully you guys enjoyed the video though leave a like on it if you did hit that subscribe button if you are new to the channel and i will see you guys in the next one boys i love you man stay safe stay blessed i'll catch you peace